What is going on everybody? Tanner McCartney with Mint Discs. We are out here at the Rant Disc Golf Course, which is a private uh, piece of property and course just southeast of Austin, out in Welder, Texas. We're gonna be doing a course preview because um, not very many people have been out here. This course has pretty much got it all. Um, we got water, we got a little bit of elevation, we got woods, we got flamingos, we got it all. Um, so yeah, we hope you all enjoy this little preview. There'll be a handful of events out here this this coming uh, next year, 2022. So we just wanted to tease y'all and give y'all a little sneak peek of it. Hope y'all enjoy, thanks. We're on hole one right now. It's a 662 foot par four. We're gonna kind of break this down. We're gonna kind of uh, try to throw about 300, 350 feet kind of in the middle with maybe a slow turn. And then the fairway splits and you got a right gap and a left gap and from there we'll pick where we're going. Landed up kind of in between these trees. I'm gonna to try to play a kind of a big hyzer over everything and hopefully come down right on the basket. How'd you like that? Maybe 45 short, maybe. Landed about 15 feet for the birdie. Hole two is just under 500 feet, uh, another par four. We're pretty much going pretty much dead straight with a little bit of fade, and then we're going pretty much straight up again, um, kind of in an opening. So we're about 300 feet from the uh, from the basket, and we got a slight incline. We got to make sure we keep it up. Um, this telephone pole is pretty much the prime spot. If you can get up to this, you're going to be looking at a at a birdie here. Look at a bird, baby. We're on hole three, 244 feet. We're going straight and then it's like a slow slow turn to the left and the basket's going to be kind of tucked into a little cove going swirly apex mustang try to pop it on a little bit of a hyzer let it flip up and ride We're on hole four right now. It's uh, 600 feet, par four. We're going straight, with a little bit of fade, trying to get around the corner. Then it's gonna open up and we pretty much got a straight shot right to the basket. They're on my fourth run alpha. Maybe 200 feet from the basket. We're going a subline bullet. It's going to hit on a little soft hyzer. Hopefully, put it right under the basket. Left ourselves a little short. We're about 32 feet, maybe just outside the circle. See if we can put her in. Bang. Let's go. We're on hole five. It's a par four. That's 412 feet. Probably one of the most challenging holes on this course, at least the most technical. We got out of bounds on the right. Um, once you get around this corner, there's a huge like creek that's out of bounds and we got trees just about everywhere. So we're just trying to lay one down straight and get around the corner. Go an eternal bullet.
What do you think about that? That's just this hole. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you're getting. <laughs> All right, we're not in too bad of a spot. If you're in the middle on this hole, you're good. Um, yeah, you got the OB over here on the right. So if you kick out, you're, you're out of bounds. Um, and then, yeah, we got trouble long. We got trouble around the corner. Here we go, basket tucked all the way back. So it's almost like a fish hook or a horseshoe. Um, and then we got the OB Creek which is strung up pretty wide here. So, yeah, we got some work to do. What are you gonna try to do on this hole? Um, I might try to go big hyzer and just close my eyes while I throw it. That's about, <laughs> that's about what it takes on this hole. <laughs> Walk back to my line. I think I'm just gonna pitch up around the corner. Uh, we don't really have too good of a hyzer line here. So yeah, I'm just gonna pretty much jump putt, try to get around the corner. So we're looking back towards the tee pad. Um, I mean, yeah, it's super wooded. I think the best best route, I think, is just going down the middle. It opens up once you get kind of past those first initial trees. And then, yeah, I mean, ideally, ideally you'd like to be somewhere around right here where you're looking, you know, at least at the basket. Um, so that's definitely where I'm gonna try to get next time I play this hole. 200 feet from the basket, I'm gonna go soft bullet, take it on this right gap and hopefully let it flip up a little bit and uh, ride to the basket. Maybe about 30 long. About 30 feet, maybe 28. Gonna have to get crafty here. Six is 287. You kind of got a split fairway here. You can either go backhand hyzer, backhand ante. You can go forehand hyzer. You kind of got a couple options here. Uh, I'm gonna throw my straighter sublime Mustang on the right side. Maybe hit it with a little bit of hyzer and just let it float back to the basket. We're about 60 feet from the basket. We gotta give this one a good run. Or a terrible run. <laughs> we we'll took a bogey on the last hole, just shows how rough the rough is. If you get off the fairway, you're, you're scrambling. Hopefully we can get a birdie on this one, another par four. We got 630, 634 feet. Um, we're coming out in the open and then it goes back in almost like a reverse S. Um, and then we got like an island, OB island in front of the basket. I'm gonna be flicking my goat out here in the open and then try to play a big hyzer into the basket. Welcome to the ranch. If you know me, you know I've never been one to take my meds, so I'm throwing this one in.
that. Hole eight, it's about 250 feet, 260. Uh, dead straight. We got a about a seven and a half foot elevated basket. And we got out of bounds, long, and it kind of just drops off. And then there's a fence and all that's out of bounds. So um, we're going eternal bullet straight down the middle. Don't want to land too close to the pin because if you're right under it, it's literally almost impossible to get it in. So I'm going to try to leave it a little short. Hole nine is a 697 foot par four. Got a couple options off the tee. You can try to go straight down the middle. You can go big hyzer, you can go slick. Um, you pretty much just want to get as much distance off the tee as you can. Fairway kind of will curve to the left and it'll keep on curving and the basket will kind of be tucked up um, a ways up there. So I'm probably going to throw a big, a big hyzer and just avoid these trees and then throw my next shot. about 290 feet from the basket. We got a slight incline, so we want to definitely uh, power up and give it some more height. You got right and left gap here, um, depending on where you land off the tee. Where I'm at, I'm going right side. I'm gonna try to play like a little soft hyzer. Um, so I'm gonna throw my eternal Mustang. And uh, yeah, just gotta make sure I give it the height. It might be, it might be a little short, but we'll see when we get up there. Uh, about a 15 footer for birdie. That'll do it for the front nine. We're gonna post the back nine um, a little bit later, so make sure to check that out. Thanks for watching and stay mint.